Hello, this is Frank Taylor with the Google Earth blog, and I'm going to show you the new 3D model layer by the American Institute of Architects of celebrating their 150th anniversary. Uh, you turn on the new layer, and you'll see these little red A icons, place marks. And uh, what, right now, we're going to fly into Washington, D.C., and see some of the buildings that they've modeled. Uh, these models were created by Google using their SketchUp. 3D modeling software. And here is the U.S. Capitol. And one of the things you'll see is all of these models have been carefully uh, put together, all the structural details, but also they've taken photographs and mapped the photos onto the surface to add even more realism and detail. Um, this is the U.S. Hol Holocaust Museum. And you'll see even little details like that flag pole out in front of the building. Um, here is the Jefferson Memorial, and we're going to fly right on into the inside, and you'll see the uh, statue of Thomas Jefferson. And uh, by the way, I'm using the 3D Connection Space Navigator, a 3D mouse, for flying around, and it's just a really fantastic way to fly around in 3D applications like Google Earth. Um, and now we're going to fly to New York City, and uh, here we'll see the Brooklyn Bridge in detail. And I've just turned on the 3D buildings for all of New York City uh, that you can see by turning on the 3D buildings layer in Google Earth. And uh, we're going to fly around, and here I'll turn these uh, building layers off and just leave the AIA 150 layer on. Here is the Empire State Building. You can see there's over a dozen buildings in New York City. Here's the New York Public Library. And now we're going to fly to the uh, St. Patrick's Cathedral. And once again, you just notice all the detail, the photo textures, as well as all kinds of details, the spires and columns on the church. And uh, now we're going to fly over to the Time Warner Center. Here's the Lincoln Center for Performing Arts. And now we'll fly over the Central Park. And here is the Metropolitan Museum of Art. So as you can see, I mean, Google has been working actually for weeks to create all these models. Um, now we're going to go to the St. Louis um, downtown area, and you'll see the famous arch, the Gateway to the West. We'll turn off the uh, buildings there. And uh, here's the uh, Cardinals Stadium. And I wanted to show you over here is their Union Station. And uh, what's interesting here is uh, they've actually turned a part of this Union Station into a mall. And I just want to fly inside, once again using the 3D mouse. And uh, you'll see here the Hard Rock Cafe. Here's some other shopping centers, all modeled in careful detail inside. Here's the uh, Houlihan's Restaurant. And another restaurant over here is the... Uh, Landry's Seafood House. And if we're going to show American architecture, we got to show a Frank Lloyd Wright designed house. Uh, this is the uh, Danny Thomas house in uh, Springfield, Illinois. And uh, here is the Milwaukee uh, Museum of Art. Uh, this was actually designed by a Spanish architect. architect. And uh, we're going to finish up here. This is a hotel in the Yosemite Valley. And I don't know which is more impressive, the hotel or the scenery that you can see here of the Yosemite Valley with the uh, awesome views this hotel has with the mountains surrounding it. So anyway, this AIA 150, this new 3D models layer is an awesome thing to view in Google Earth. I highly encourage everyone to try it out. And thank you, Google, for producing it.